Hey guys, it's Chantel over at Imagine Media. I am so excited to share with you a little bit more about how we got started through our Draw Your Life series. So if you can imagine me as a little girl in the neighborhood, marching around with her to-do list and group activities, this was me, Little Miss Bossy Pants. I vividly remember building forts with my friends, uh, delegating to them where we would play games, where the rug should go, who would be responsible for the weekly tasks. I kid you not, I was a little bossy then, I hate to admit it, but very early on gravitated towards the leadership role. Fast forward a year or two, and I tried to go the, the slushies and cookies and uh, making bracelets route at the local garage sales. Then I became too tall and lanky and couldn't quite fit into any of my limited two clothes, which was such a shame. And my first business, Tough to Be Tall, the clothing line was formed. A modern day attempt at graphic design. The large shirts and pants I purchased from Michaels with the iron-on logo were very um, unfortunate looking and not very stylish. So zero sales were made and I moved on to my next venture, which was a company called 12 Lakes News, where me and a few of my friends uh, started a newspaper company. Um, and it was a true kind of marketing outreach. So I brought in a team of friends and editors, and we published a monthly neighborhood newsletter full of family birthdays, block parties, safety updates, and advertising. That's when I had my first experience selling ad sets. So I actually sold um, some advertising to local real estate agents, which was a lot of fun. Grew up a little bit, uh, quite a bit, and ended up going to college at Florida State University and studied entrepreneurship, which was amazing. I loved that program. After graduation, I moved to Chicago, the Windy City, which is an amazing city if you haven't gone. I highly suggest to anyone just bundle up if you go in the winter. There, um, I started a company initially called Weddings by Shan, where I was in a wedding and events coordinator. Fast forward a little bit, it be then became Peacock and Papaya, and it was my true first jump into entrepreneurship and adulthood. It was really exciting because, ironically enough, at Florida State in the entrepreneurship program, I already created a business plan to pursue my wedding planning company when I moved to Chicago. So when I got there, I already knew my niche, um, what I wanted to do, and who was kind of my competitors. I absolutely loved Chicago, huge deep dish pizza fan, few meet me and want to grab a lunch. That is certainly a way to my heart, but it was cold. So moved to Atlanta with the intent to open a second branch of Peacock and Papaya. And ironically enough, pie was a really big trend in the wedding space in Chicago. So when I moved here, um, I was craving a piece of pie. So I stumbled across a local business called The Pie Shop and was trying to determine on her Facebook page if she was open that day, what flavor she had, and, and truly I couldn't find any of that information. So as a consumer, I didn't go in. And it started to spark this idea for me that there are plenty of wonderful businesses that just aren't building relationships online with their target audience, and this is where I can help. I had seen a lot of success leveraging social media for the wedding planning company and knew I was onto something. So I approached the business owner, loved, loved, loved the chocolate ganache pie, and told her I'd love to help kind of take something off her plate. So from there, um, we got started and they were our very first partner. A couple months in, I had the opportunity to meet um, another small business here in Atlanta called Now and Again and was fortunate enough to talk with one of the um, employees there and she mentioned that she knew someone who was looking for a job. Um, and this is where I found Margo. Margo Dukes is our co-founder and my business partner and she joined only a few months after we got started. We met daily in Panera. So then Margo and I met at Panera every single day. It was home to our office. Home to the best coffee around. Absolutely. I really love that cinnamon crunch bagel. <laughs> <laughs> they knew our orders by heart. Um, and we only lost internet about once a day. <laughs> they tried to kick us out, but we were going nowhere until we got a few more clients and could secure an office. So that was super exciting. We made our way and uh, put our foot in the ground at Industrious Midtown, at their location, which was exciting because we had our first great view. Our first great view in our first maybe 100 square foot office. Yes. <laughs> but we certainly squeezed four of us in a 100 square foot space, which was awesome. We were using our resources wisely. Um, and we grew up a little bit, grew by a few more teammates, 
continued to grow and finally got the opportunity to move to Ponce. And we were the first people in the industrious mid Midtown location and the first people in the Ponce location, which we were really proud of. Of course, we put up our colorful banner first thing and made ourselves stand out in the co-working space. So then, as we're continuing to grow and grow and kind of burst out of the scenes at Industrious, not kind of, definitely bursting out of the scenes, <laughs> we also had a really, um, we started to expand our services. So we got into videography, we brought in an amazing photographer um, who's been a true asset to the team. We do digital marketing, so all advertising, Facebook and Instagram ads, really starting to expand our, expand our social footprint. So then we got to the point where we thought we needed to change it up a little bit and have our own big girl space where we could fit all these talented people, we could constantly be generating ideas, and we could actually breathe or move our arms without touching one another. <laughs> um, so we had this awesome opportunity to move into the Foster co-working space just on the street from Ponds. It could not have been more perfect. What was really exciting about this opportunity too, we would actually be taking over the entire foster space so it would truly be our own um, place to grow and place to kind of be creative. We actually surprised the team. So one night we stayed super late and unpacked our office in Industrious Ponce and moved everything over to the new space, our own space, and then surprised everyone the next morning. which was very cool. A few of our teammates looks like they've just gotten a new car. They were so excited. So ever since then, it's been really, really awesome. It was a good moment for us. And I think certainly um, solidified that we're continuing to grow. We're doing an amazing job for our partners. We're having so much fun working with all of them, but also learning from all of them every day. Mm -hmm. We're working with brands um, like Ashley Furniture, Tim Lizzie's, Gusto, Babyators. And what's so unique is all of them are so different in their own way, but also going through the same business struggles, and we get to be a part of that um, and help get in front of their customer and truly build those relationships. And jumping on building the relationships too, I think with our partners, we've kind of become friends with them too, and certainly have learned from them. Um, so yeah, it's been really, really cool. It's been, it's been an exciting adventure, and we are proud to be girl bosses, but also so excited and privileged every day to just be around so many creative people. Um, I certainly know uh, we couldn't do this without the rest of the team and um, it's all of them that actually make it make it all work. Definitely. Every new talent brings us further and further on the road to success. So we are definitely thankful for everyone on the team and everything that each team member has brought. Their own unique talents um, definitely set us apart. So our culture is kick-ass, if, if you can't tell, because we can't stop talking about it. But also, um, again, to build on that partner relationship, it's really important to us. If we're not building relationships with those partners in their target market, we're not doing a good job at leveraging social media. So that's kind of a theme in our office of building relationships, not just profiles. It's part of our quarterly goals every quarter. Um, we're really intentional about it because social media, you could do a lot on it, but if you're not... Um, strategic and genuine and authentic, um, you can get lost in the crowd. So we hope you've enjoyed our Draw the Life series <laughs> and we're excited to keep thinking big and we hope you follow along. Yeah, keep following. There are big things to come. <laughs>